My name is Ignacio P. Guzman III of PIPED 1A. And today, I would like to present to you the methods and strategies which are effective to be utilized in different learning areas. I will present five concepts with five slides in five minute video. Here we go. Methods and strategies are composed of four different learning activities that we could impose to help our students learn and definitely grow. And that includes active, cooperative, inquiry-based, and inductive learning. First, we have active learning activities. It is based on constructivism, a learning theory that asserts that learners construct their own understanding of a topic by building upon their prior knowledge. Moreover, it is related to other instructional methods that closely involve students in the knowledge construction process. Active learning fosters understanding rather than memorization of facts, and it helps students learn how to learn. This concept includes the following. Student-centered learning, where the diverse learning needs of students rather than the need to push through content are at the center of the learning process. Problem-based learning, where students are given a problem or scenario that requires students to formulate questions, analyze evidence, connect evidence to pre-existing theories, derive conclusions, and reflect on their learning. And lastly, experiential learning, where students learn by engaging in authentic learning activities, that is, ones that replicate situations or problems they might encounter in real life or in a work situation. Next, we have cooperative learning. Cooperative learning is a generic term for various small group interactive instructional procedures. Students work together on academic tasks in small groups to help themselves and their teammates learn together. In cooperative learning, Students are working together in small groups containing of two to five members on common tasks. They are positively interdependent and individually accountable and responsible. Cooperative learning enhances student learning by providing a shared cognitive set of information between students, motivating students to learn the material, ensuring that students construct their own knowledge providing formative feedback, developing social and group skills necessary for success outside the classroom, and promoting positive interaction between members of different cultural and socioeconomic groups. The third one is the inquiry-based learning. This concept is viewed as a new pedagogy. It is like problem-based learning and a teaching method that prioritizes student questions ideas, and analysis. From a student point of view, inquiry-based learning focuses on investigating an open question or problem. And from a teacher point of view, inquiry-based teaching focuses on moving students beyond general curiosity into the realms of critical thinking and understanding. You can run inquiry activities in the form of case studies, group projects, research projects, field work especially for science lessons, and unique exercises tailored to your students. And lastly, we have the inductive learning. Also known as discovery learning and different from deductive learning. It is a process where the learner discovers rules by observing examples. It includes discovery learning, inquiry-based learning, problem-based learning, project-based learning, case-based teaching, and just-in-time teaching. And that's five minutes. That would be all. Thank you very much for your time and listening. God bless us.